We're back. The Lakes course. We haven't played here for a while. We're out with Kish today. Wonderful golfer. Lovely swing. Still up in the air, mate. He shot a fantastic round. Right, here we are. First tee. This is going to be a slightly different episode today. You'll find out why momentarily. There, you might have noticed it. If you're an avid watcher and subscriber, you might have noticed. Massive new swing changes I've been practicing at the range. And at some point, you've got to bring them to the course. So swing changes today, expect a lot of duffers, but you know, hopefully it comes good at some point. God, come on. As I was saying, probably a lot of duffers today, but that was a massive top. Right, so swing changes. Here's an example of exactly what I'm not trying to do. So firstly, I've added a definite pause at the top and that's trying to stop me from over swinging. And then I'm also trying to get myself more shallow, but that's a disgusting example. Let's look in slow motion. It's such a steep out to in swing. So basically we're trying to pause at the top to stop over swinging. We're trying to get more shallow. Uh, should I talk you through what I'm doing? Trying to get more shallow and into out because my swing is absolutely disgustingly steep and out to in. I've been working on it massively, like I said, out the range and at home. Obviously a massive swing change. Like I said, at some point you've got to bring it out to the core. So today I'm expecting that. Well, let's look at a few swings then. So I started this in the new year, trying to be more laid off with my club, bowed wrist. And then what I'm trying to do is thinking about dropping the hands, trying to get under the plane, and then trying to think about rotating more as opposed to always trying to swing with my arms. Very snatchy baseball type swing. Here's another example when I took it to the range. We're pausing, bowed wrist, we're laid off with the club. And again, I'm thinking about dropping the hands, really trying to get under the plane, which we do there really successfully. Nice in to out swing, nice draw on that one. But the problem I have is I can't bring that bloody swing to the course. And that's gonna be the plan today. Oh, bloody hell. A massive thin right over the back of the green. And then we flub this one. So what's this? A million on? No, we're not on yet. <laughs> we're not on. We need a bump and run special. So don't forget that the idea today is that we're trying to instill on course a massive swing change. Let's get strike. So it's fair to say that I'm not going to be keeping score today. It's going to be an experimental round. That was a slightly better connection, but a bit of a thin. I'm also going to be going up a club because I'm changing my swing. As you would have noticed by now already, I'm adding this pause at the top of my backswing to stop myself swinging too far, trying to hit it too hard. Thinned it slightly. We were up in high, but we're in the bunker. It's a massive thin, but luckily it hit the bank, so we didn't go in the water. But look, we, we have to chip on the green, because we've got that massive fringe in the way. First time I've ever had to chip on a green. <laughs> it's right there. Right, we're now going to analyse my driver swing, because there's something I do that's super, super annoying. Actually, it's really ugly and I wish I could get rid of it. I'm going to show you, have a look at this. Right, so I'm really happy with the pause at the top, but then look, it's that little extra bit that I do. Look, I'll show you again. Right, so I'm really happy with the pause, but then I do this extra little wrist hinge rubbishy thing. The club head moves about another two or three feet. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Massive overswing. And this example produced a massive out to in swing, spazzy slice, but I was lucky to find it here but this one a massive thin and massively over the green this one we catch kind of all right but it was tough to hold the green and it rolls off the back so we need a bump and run special which was all right nice view there lovely right so pause again then it's that little extra thing that i do oh i'd love to get rid of that so far, so shit. But, as I said, swing change, massive swing change. So... Oh, 
Right, we need to see some good golf. It's back to Kish. Come on. Only the good ones make the vlog. Right, so again, pause, watch the rubbishy wrist. It's rubbish, it's absolutely rubbish. Does anyone have a drill that can help me with that or a YouTube clip? Rubbish. So what I've been working on is trying to shorten up my swing, specifically with the driver. It's like a John Daly rubbish, but I don't swing like John Daly, don't hit it like him. The club is massively wrapped around my head and there's this silly little wrist thing that I do at the top of my backswing where the, the wrist hinge breaks. It's, and it just all goes to the SHITs from that point on. I felt it on that backswing, terrible Healy, spazzy slide, but we found a fair way. Right, this next swing is a nice one, more like what we're after. Nice pause, bowed wrist, laid off club, shorter swing, into out, and a nice baby draw. Right, that felt more like it. I'm pausing at the top, making sure I've got a bowed wrist. Trying to keep that bow all the way down, trying to get into out, that felt better. So we've got 13 more holes left. Let's see how we do. So although we're not keeping score, that bump and run special sets us up our first power opportunity. Come on, Rory. Rory. A big old duffer. I know you've been waiting for that. But we're in play, but we're a million miles away. So that's not bad with the five iron. This is exactly where I was aiming. It wasn't going for the green. It's over a canyon. This is a delightful punching chip shot technique. Dead on life for the pin, but just massively short. Come on, Rory. Oh, so give me though. Kish gave me that one. So just because it was a pretty flush connection, don't know if the swing's right. It felt like a cut through it. So indicative of an out to in swing. But I think the pause was a bit better. I'm gonna keep working. So again, we need to see some good golf. It's back to Kish. Three birdies, get in. Come on, that's Worthy McCann, kind of spaz that one. Hey, Worthy was spaz. He played a fantastic round. He shot like 74. Come on. Woo, come on, Connor. It's Worthy and one of them. So we scramble for a par. So finally we flush a driver, but I pulled it dead straight to the left, which means probably an out to in swing, probably really long swing, but it's a work in progress. Look at this for some ridiculousness. That's also a work in progress. It's always easier the second time. We're out, we're down there, we've got a line in. But this shot will see us finding the third bunker of this hole. And that's also absolutely ridiculous. Just bladed massively over the green. So, although we're working on very specific swing changes, you'd like to think that the other shots, which you practice regularly, would be coming good. So... There's that horrible wristy thing, the rubbishy wristy thing that I do. Again, I hope it's not going to annoy people watching my swing now, knowing that I do that. 
That was better though, that iron. Didn't do the rubbishy wristy thing. So let's have a look again. Oh! <laughs> All right, so we didn't do the rubbishy wristy thing there, but it was a massively steep outdoor swing. But we find the dance floor. Right, so again, we will be doing the rubbishy wristy thing, but it wasn't as bad as previously. We absolutely got through that one, minted, but it's with a draw into the water. It's a dog leg right, it's typical. Again, dead on line for the pin, but just massively short. So we need a nice little bump and run special. That's too hard. Right, come on, Rory. We need you, Rory. So on this round, we've been in a million bunkers and it's been a million bladed shots over the green. So again, we're scrambling. That's not a bad effort, just a little bit short. We need this in, Rory. All right, we're off to the 13th par five. It's time to show some more good golf. This is Andrew. He's absolutely spazzed that. Right, let's try and follow him. Oh, <laughs> into the tree line. So now we've got to try and just get it back out into place. So Andrew spazzed it massively past that tree. Finally a shot with a bit of intent. Ball in the back of my stance, five iron. Punching it down there with a bit of a fade. Out nicely onto the fairway. How do you feel, mister? This is Andrew's ball. He's hit it to there for eagle. Have you... <laughs> Definitely better than the previous. <laughs> Have you ever had an eagle? I have, I've had two, so this will be three, hopefully. This will be his third, he's got about a six to eight footer for Eagle. Before we show the Eagle attempt, this is our attempt for Bernie, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Come on, Rory, we need you to come good. Only the good ones make the vlog, mate. Come on, yeah. come on. That's dirty, that don't leave an eagle putt short, Ferris! Not short, it's wide. <laughs> Still tapping birdie, is it worthy of a card of spaz? Hey! Right, look at this gross, rubbishy, wristy thing. It's just, it's really rubbish. Also, my lead arm breaks down massively, massive bend. Well, let's be honest, we haven't embedded the new swing yet, not even remotely. There may be a couple of swings that felt okay. It's still a work in progress, we're gonna keep working on it at the range, we keep working on getting into out, dropping the hand, shallowing the club. We're trying to get rid of this steep swing out to in. We're trying to get rid of this funny wrist hinge thing that I do. So we're gonna keep working, let's go. Okay, we hit that nicely onto the green, but this is the 14th green that I always talk about. It's absolutely shocking. It's spun right off the green, about five to 10 yards off the green. Oh, don't sit there. Take that one. Get in. Come on, Rory. Right, we're off to the 15th par five. We love our practice swing. There was no rubbishy wristy thing there. Let's see if we can produce the same result. No, it was the rubbishy wristy thing. Honestly, my practice swing, it's just nothing like the swing that I produce when I'm over the ball. So it's all mental. Loads of people have told me that. It's all mental, Carter. You can do it when there's not a ball there. As soon as you step over the ball, it's all over the place. So, what's the answer, guys? Do we stick with this? Plan to have these massive swing changes, try and get rid of the rubbishy, wristy thing? Or do I just swing my swing? What do you think? Right, we're back to Kish. 
like I said, he had an absolutely fantastic round, just nailing it all day. So we'll try and follow him. Right, so this is indicative of being a bit more into Alex. We actually drew this driver, but we drew it right into the tree line. Yeah, have a look at this. If you can't be good, be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not intentional, but it rolls up to the green for a birdie opportunity. All right, so right about here, battery runs out. So I wasn't keeping score throughout the round, but that was the score. A little bit better on the back nine. Rory still came good, 29 putts. So what do you think though, guys? Do we stick with it? Of course, when you work on stuff at the range, eventually you've got to bring it to the course. So again, we're trying to drop our hands, get more into out in the slot. That's a good example there, but can we bring it to the course? That's the question. What do you think? 